So instead of saying, well, we think the Niners are going to do it number three, because we've been talking about that nonstop. I think an interesting way to get into the topic today is through the Jets, because it depends on them. And they're not really locked into anything yet. Although the speculations they're going to take Zach Wilson just as the speculation for weeks is the Niners are going to take Mac Jones. How do you read the Jets situation, Vish? 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 Yeah, I think it's Zach Wilson. I think okay. it's Zach Wilson all the way. I understand why some people like you, you tweeted out the Trey Lance thing because Joe Douglas was part of the brass in Philly that picked Carson Wentz. I just think it's a different situation because Carson Wentz did have two years, I think, of starting at NDSU. I think that the consensus seems to be that Zach Wilson is quarterback too. I think that most people seem to think that it's just a fact that Zach Wilson is going to at this point. And, you know, the media isn't always right about picks three, four, five, six, seven. They're often wrong about it because obviously how can they be? It, it's really difficult and you don't know what every team is doing. But picks one and two almost every draft are usually locked in, right? Everybody almost always like – what's last draft for an example? Everybody knew Joe, uh, Joe Burrow was going one. Chase Young was going to 2018. Everybody knew, uh, I mean, people didn't know Baker Mayfield, but people kind of knew Saquon Barkley. And I think the last day before the draft, people knew Baker Mayfield, Saquon Barkley, and they were mocking it. So from that standpoint, I, I, I think it's pretty much set in stone in this draft, just the way the media has been covering it and they're reporting it, that it's Trevor Lawrence one and Zach Wilson two. Do you think it's possible though, that <clears throat> maybe the Jets haven't a hundred percent made up their minds? I mean, we were talking on the phone about how the Jets are in a really tough situation. Can you explain mm -hmm. how much pressure the, that the Jets are under, given that the Niners just traded behind them and what that means? Yeah, so I think this has actually been the least under-talked about greatest storyline of this entire draft, okay? You're Robert Sala, first-time head coach. Mike LaFleur, first-time offensive coordinator, okay? You're about to tr make a quarterback decision to try and implement the offense of the guy that inspired you kyle shanahan yeah and like he's the guy that both of you kind of look up to he's the he runs the offense you're trying to implement and guess what he does he also needs a quarterback and he trades up one spot behind you and he goes pick whoever you want because i know the real guy that's ready to execute this offense and i'm okay with you taking whichever of the four quarterbacks you want outside of lawrence because it doesn't matter to me i i i i have my guy already can you imagine that being in that position if you're Robert Sala, let's say Zach Wilson's the guy, you're 100% confident he can run your offense, all of that. Your conviction, it's got to waver a little bit. Wait, Kyle doesn't want Zach Wilson? Yeah. Kyle thinks that somebody else is better for his offense than Zach Wilson? Like, wait, yeah. wait, am I doing something wrong? And then, yeah, should I take that guy? Other, should I, who, who is that guy? And should I get right. it? Yeah. And then the other side of it is, okay, let me try and figure out who Kyle wants. And, oh, I think it's Trey Lance. And so we're going to take Trey Lance and we're going to outsmart Kyle. And then, Kyle takes Zach Wilson, and then you're like, what? So it, it's a – Did we just outsmart ourselves and, on that one? Yeah. Right. Yeah. It's a little game of cat and mouse that's going on, and I'm sure if you're the Jets, I mean, obviously Robert Sala and Michael Floor aren't making that pick. It's Joe Douglas. They feel a little bit of pressure like, oh, my God, Joe Douglas thinks Zach Wilson's perfect for our offense, but Kyle Shanahan, the real mastermind of our offense, seems to think that somebody else is perfect that's not named Zach Wilson. So who is it and why does he not agree with us about Zach Wilson? It's scary, right? So it would make you think twice at least. It would make you go to Justin Fields' pro day and Trey Lance's pro day and try to figure out what, what's going on. Why didn't they try to trade up with us? Why did they want to go behind us? Do they really think yeah. we're going to mess this up? How low did, I mean, how low is their opinion of us?